when it was time for them to move me from the um, labor room to the postpartum um, room, the doctor comes and says, I have to check your BP. Like, your BP is low. It is low, life threatening low. My BP was so low that they didn't let me stand up. They said, Stay there, madam, don't move. My BP was below 80. Like I think it was seven something. It was bad. High BP is even is even good compared to low BP. Low BP kills fast, fast. So I felt like I was I was giving up the ghost. I was crying. I was crying because I didn't understand what was happening to me. I was working. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> See guys, before we go right into this video, I want to just appreciate Melly Styles. Guys, Melly Styles is on this wig. If you know you want to get any kind of Afrocentric wig, raw human hair blend any kind of human hair at all any kind of hair at all go to my listers on instagram they sell amazing wig this wig is so lush it feels like it feels so soft so nice it is very beautiful and i'm using it and rocking it today so if you know you don't like to do too much with wig just like to get up and put on wig this wig is for you i just literally removed it from the bag and put it on my head and i didn't have to do anything much so shout out to many styles they say awesome wigs go and tell them you are from nk and they would give you a very good discount i promise I prom i'm not lying hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl nk on field and as usual on this channel we do what we rap drum roll please <laughs> we rap we rap on this channel so you have to what keep up you have to keep up i don't miss saying this nobody come and tell me you're talking too fast I talk too fast, it's a default setting. If I start talking slow, slow, I'm trying to form, I'm trying to pretend. So if I talk fast, know that it's, I have gotten comfortable. If I'm not comfortable with you, that's when I talk slowly. When I'm comfortable with you, I rap. If I am nervous, I rap more. <laughs> iron i don't know why is it like that if i'm nervous i rap more if i am comfortable with you i still rap but if i'm just being on a normal level with you i just talk quietly because i feel like you will understand me so on this channel we do what we rap hi guys if you're new here my name is inkiru arinza i'm a youtuber and content creator based in fct nigeria and on this channel we do motherhood content i am a mom i am a mom of two boys i am a content creator i am a lawyer i am a wife in anything you do what do i say don't forget say pearls and keep me and push me for house <laughs> i give you motherhood content on this channel i give you vlogs i give you real life issues i give you real life situations i give you a real unfiltered life as a mother so do stay tuned like my videos comment on my videos subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification and give this channel what a thumbs up like my video by that that's what i mean on today's episode i'm going to be talking about how my health deteriorated when i had my second baby and if this is a video you know you're going to love and enjoy to watch do stay tuned and let's get right into it hi guys welcome back please don't watch my videos half and half please watch my videos full start my video and watch it well because if you watch my videos half and half youtube will not recommend my video and before you know it my video will not do well it's not reach a higher audience remember we are trying to get our watch hour we are, we are demonetized we are trying to get to watch our please and please and please watch my videos so on today's episode i'm going to be talking about what happened to me after i had my, my second son when i had my first son i didn't have any issues i just it was it was beautiful it was it went over well, it just ended but my second when i had my second son casey i am i was in labor for a very long time and i was distressed my son took a cold and tied his hands yes so i was in labor for very long i was dilating well no hold on i was having good contraction but i was not dilating well which means i was not getting close to having that child so it was really straight struggle and looking at it now i don't know why i went i did not opt for cs i don't know why i was stubborn to keep trying to have that child i don't know why i was stubborn to saying i don't want cs i want I want to do vaginal delivery. Maybe because I'm some kind of person that I don't like to it to be I don't like it to be as if I tested everything. Yeah, you did normal you did um, vaginal delivery, you did CS, you went through pregnancy, everything I tested it. I don't like to test everything. I don't like in Kemal the heat. My name is not in Kem DJ. I was praying to God, I was crying to God like God. I like well, why do I have to test everything? I just want to have this vaginal delivery that I had the first time and get it on. I just want to end it at that. So I was having good contractions. It was coming every like every minute for and lasting for 30 seconds. Sometimes it comes every two minutes and last for 30 seconds. 
it was good contraction but i was not dilated i was on zero cm for the longest time even after the, after the ruptured my main brain i was still on zero on zero cm it was eventually after i prayed to god i begged him because the doctor was like if you don't if you don't progress i will you aim for cs but after i prayed to and told god please i don't want to do cs my god my god my personal lord and savior answered my prayers and i dialed to 2 cm it was a sign that god was present and he wanted me to do this so i was very happy and i was very very grateful to god i am still grateful to god because um, i don't know how it happened now i don't know how the nigerian sister i don't know why you people were doing some of this kind of scan i people cannot see that cord tied that baby's hand why it was not detected during um, all my scans or my recent scans i don't know i don't understand because i had a very good doctor i was in a very good hospital but i still wonder how and why it wasn't detected if you're a doctor and you know how this works why wasn't it detected because i don't even understand it wasn't detected fast they didn't know i my son used the cord to tie his hands maybe he was bent maybe he was coughed maybe he covered that hand i just don't know so he wasn't I mean, the thing was restricting him and it was, he was in distress i had to use oxygen all through there i think i was in labor for 22 hours all through no it was almost 22 hours it was almost 22 hours 22 hours means it's 22 hours so i was in labor for like 18 hours yes so my son had to, i had to use oxygen for all those number of time like for those hours i was in labor i was using oxygen because of my child so i would keep giving him um, oxygen his heart rate was fluctuating up and down up and down well I'll, someday i'll compare my first pregnancy um, my first um delivery and my second delivery but today that's what i'm that's what i'm doing i just want to tell you guys how my health went so i was he was in distress for a very long time and i was in distress which means i wasn't going to eat fast because you know when you're in labor you really you have appetite to eat i was not even taking anything the liquid was not even taking liquid yet. i was just not in the mood because i was in so much pain i was crying i was begging god because i was in stress i was in so much distress so my doctor was watching me and checking me i was just taking my um my um my, i was being given drip at intervals and i was using my oxygen and i was just breathing trying to do the breathing exercise trying to hold it down for my child and myself it was very difficult and um when i eventually um when it was actually time for me to have my child um he I, as when i was about to push he gave me so much tear so much tear he told me left right center i had nothing less than 10 stitches in my vagina it is not something i want even my enemy to experience because as they were stitching with their parts of my vagina that even though they wanted to numb it i would feel the pain even though they numbed it i would feel the tugging and the pushing it was very painful he told me at every point so i after giving birth to him he told me inside outside and they also gave me a tear at the other side so that he would come out free because the tear was about to be wide and like open i pushed him eventually and they gave me all those tears and all those you know what i mean now and they were going to stitch me so they started stitching me this teaching was something i don't even wish on my enemy that stitching is something else i said to me oh my god it's not fair it's not fair that boy told me like a reckless thief <laughs> But I'm grateful to God that we both came out with our head complete. We came, came out healthy. But when my son came out, he was distressed. Like, he had blood blood clots in his eye. He couldn't open, I think it was his left eye, right? He couldn't open his left or right. I can't remember the particular eye. He couldn't open it properly. He was always like this. One eye closed, one eye open, yes. So for him to open the eye, you have to touch it and push it up a bit. Then to open, when it opens, you will see the red blood. And then the eye was smaller. So I think he was distressed. I think it was the um, the pressure was on that eye when I was in labor for that long time. So he was it was really distressed. So when um they brought him out and I saw those, and I was just praying to God, thanking God for everything. So when after a while they started cleaning me, I lost blood actually. I lost not a lot of blood, but I lost blood. So they were cleaning me, cleaning me. They were packing you were packing. Uh, sorry packing blood they packed a lot of blood from me so when it was time for my mind you let me say this during my pregnancy my bp my sugar everything is always normal it maintains itself like it doesn't shake it doesn't it's always normal. even my blood like my blood is never low it never goes below 35 my blood is always 35 36 37 only once it was 34 but it was still normal so i didn't have any of those issues at all i didn't have um, pregnancy induced diabetes i didn't have any issues at all like health wise in my pregnancy so i was not expecting any of those things so when after they stitched me doctor was like oh he gave you a tear close to your um, ureter where you urinate so we're going to we're going to have to put catheter for you i was like eh 
Okay. She said, yes, unless you want to bear the pain that you're going to ease yourself, your first urine. I was like, you know what? Put the catheter. I hope it's not painful. She said, no, it's not painful. I have to put it for you. So I waited and they put the catheter for me because I had to be urinating while I'm on my bed. So I don't frequent the toilet, number one, because of infection, because the tear was plenty. So I stayed on the bed i was bleeding they were always cleaning me up i was not bleeding excessively it was normal bleeding but then and um, they were cleaning me and they were watching it they had to keep me for observation so when it was time for them to move me from the um labor room to the postpartum and um, room the doctor comes and says i have to check your bp we have to check your sugar check everything blah 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 when she came she checked my she was like your bp is low your BP is low and it is low, life threatening low. My BP was so low that they didn't let me stand up. They said, Stay there, madam, don't move. It was a life threatening situation. Like, I didn't believe that I would ever, that I would ever hear someone tell me your BP is low or your BP is high. I was like, My BP is low. She said, Yes, it is very low. Like, my BP was below 80. Like, I think it was 70 something. It was bad. I, I can't remember the reading, but my BP reading was very bad. They told Madam, just stay on that bed. Please don't go down. Please don't carry your baby. Please don't do anything. Stay on that bed. And I was scared. I was really very worried for myself. Because I, I, re I remember, I remember I've read that high BP is even, is even good compared to low BP. Low BP kills fast, fast. So I was so worried. And immediately they just came back again. She went and quickly brought two more doctors. It was like an emergency. They came quickly. They were checking my BP. Checking me. Like, checking me. Like, ha. Huh. They were checking me with so much force and so much speed. They checked my blood. They checked my BP. They opened my eyes. They were checking me like... It was like a thorough examination because they were really worried for me. So they were like, quickly, bring drip, bring this, bring... They couldn't even wait to go and say they should go and make payments. They quick, that's what thing I appreciated the hospital for. Because other hospitals would say, bring the man, the man should go and make payments, bring this, bring that. They knew that I was already in their care and they needed to act fast. So they quickly rushed and brought the drip, quickly inserted it and put the drip to be running fast. That drip was running fast. They were trying to resuscitate me. And, okay, sorry, not, not resuscitate, but trying to bring my BP back up. So I don't know the BP, the, um, the drip they gave to me, but it was helping my BP. It was taking it up a little bit. I finished that whole bag in 30 seconds, yet... I mean, in 40 seconds, I mean, in a minute or so. But yet, my baby was not up to where they wanted it to be. Then they said, you know what, I'm going to give you another drip. I gave birth around 10. I was still under my hospital bed. Apart from the fact that there was no room for me to move to immediately, I was under my hospital bed till like till like four i went to my room around four yes because i know, remember that aisha and cassie had already come before i went to my, my room and they came in the evening so i went to my room around four so i was there for a very long time so they quickly put another drip for me and they were monitoring me checking they said please lie down they don't move don't do anything stress so they took my phone they told me just lie down and sleep you need to sleep rest so i lay down and closed my eye by then i had already eaten they had given me food to eat because now they said i was distressed the whole long prolonged labor really took a toll on me and i knew that because i was very tired i was crying all through i had nothing to eat i was stressed i don't know what causes a little bp i think i don't know i think low bp has to do with sugar and all those things. i can't really tell I, I in fact i'm confused but that was that was, that was what i had so if you know something about low bp educate us educate us in the comment section because i'm sure some mothers go through this too i know some people have high bp after giving birth some people have low bp after giving birth i had low bp it was very bad some people have preeclampsia and they have um there's this one after preclampsia after birth i know post um before giving birth is preeclampsia after giving birth i don't can't remember what it is i remember i had a friend that had that it was really like she even, i think she even had a stroke so it, that's that experience had it was in my head it was carrying me because i can remember what she went through so i she had this experience she even broke her hand that's how bad it was for her so i had that um idea and i was really worried i didn't want to get to that point so i was like god please help me like I can't believe I was going through that. I don't want to cry. I told myself I'm not crying in this video, so I'm going to just be as plain as I'm going to be and be careful. And I want to cry, I'm going to pause. So this they were able to resuscitate me and give me glucose or um in my drip to help boost my BP. So after my second the second um, um pack of drip told me okay they can now take me to the wall they didn't let me walk well i just had a baby and i had a plenty stitches so of course they won't let me walk they used the wheelchair to take me to my, my my room with my baby so as i got to the um room they said they told them to please check my bp again after that like they um from the labor ward to the room was like um 20 um like 
five minutes so they checked me again they said it's not so great but it's okay so please take a lot of fluid stay hydrated like i remember stay hydrated so i remember cassie came with kunaya so she gave me kunaya i was drinking the kunaya i was taking plenty of water they gave me drugs they had plenty of drugs they gave me to start taking immediately to help my bp and to help me um to help my my general well-being as i just had the baby so i was taking enough food like taking plenty of water plenty kunaya they could not cast a breath when i finished it that day i took plenty of it so it was also nutritious for me because i needed, I needed nutrients my body was weak my blood was weak which means my beef was low and i think it has to also do with my maybe my blood was shortened or something i don't know so it boosted my, my, my BP. Before they discharged me the next day, my BP had come up. However, I still battle with this BP. Like now, the last two weeks, I went to check my BP and my BP was low. My BP reading is like 94, 96 over 80 something. I can't really remember. I'm not really good at all this. My one is one that's really good at it. It's one that makes sure I check my BP. It's one that makes takes. In fact, every time you take me, you can check your BP. I remember when after um, 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 when I had Casey, a month end of having Casey, one day I was about having my bath. I, I, I'm not a big eater, so I rarely eat. So I, I was breast, I'm breastfeeding. I was breastfeeding exclusively that time. So, and I was also pumping almost 12 hours, 12 times a day. So I wanted to have my bath that night, my night bath, because I tried to have my bath constantly to avoid smelling. So I was going to have my bath that day, and I was so weak, I started crying. I couldn't stand up. I sat on the floor back and I was crying. Brother was um, in the room, but he couldn't hear me. So I was just, I started crawling quietly. I was crawling to him. I, I felt like I was I was giving up the ghost. I was crawling. I was crying because I didn't understand what was happening to me. I was walking, crawling quietly to the door. I was calling him, baby, baby, baby. Like this, is how low my voice was. It was. I was very weak. And so when he I just told him, please, can you get tea for me? I need to take tea. So he quickly ran out and brought me tea for me quickly and brought it for me to take tea with me and milk. And by tea, I mean milk and milo. So I quickly started drinking that he rushed called his mom thought please bring her bp apparatus they checked my bp it was normal but now i'm really thinking about that normal was not normal it was like that same 94 96 which it is now so he was like ah god what is what could be wrong so just have your bath he took me in he baited me gave me the i finished my tea then he put me down my mom said you know nk don't worry just i'll stay with the baby today just rest and they left me to rest till the next day but i didn't wake up the next day till like I think I didn't wake up there to like 11 a.m. They left me to sleep and I need to rest. Just let me just rest. Just take a rest because for your baby to be low is not nice. It's not good. So it was very good that I was keeping tabs on my health, even though I was being careless about it. But now it, I'm conscious about it because when I went to check my BP last two weeks, it was still around that range, 94, 96. But when I now spoke to my friend as a doctor, she told me, you know what? Sometimes your BP has is really relates with your height. Small people, she don't call me short. Don't call me short. Small people usually have that range of BP, but you just have to watch it and make sure it doesn't go lower than that. So I was, uh, they recommend. And then I think um, um, I said taking folic acid again. I said taking my iron and um, B complex. I said I'm taking all. I'm on those supplements. I also make sure I take my vitamin C every day. I take my vitamins very well. I take it seriously so that I don't go very low on my vitamins. And then my, my vitamins going low means that I have BP and I become anemic. So I'm very very careful with it. So I said taking I said taking all these supplements. I try to keep my health in check. Now mothers, you need to keep your health in check. We have had children. Our bodies are not the same anymore. I know that we might feel perfectly fine, but inside we don't know what's happening inside. So take your do your routine checks and take your routine drugs. Folic acid, um, B complex, um, iron calcium take supplements and help your body recuperate i help my body now because i realized that i have two kids and my body cannot be the same i'm not getting any younger i'm in my early 30s i'm not getting any younger so i need to take care of my body go for regular checkup i did my um, i checked my bp regularly and now i also went to check my full blood count to make sure that my blood was okay and very in very in, in enough quantity so i don't know what's happening to my bp so i always try to do all these things because we need to be alive for ourselves and for our family so always 
always check yourself check your health and prioritize your health at every point in time a friend of mine said she was sick and she was thinking oh if i take my drugs who will take care of my children and eventually she fell down in sickness she fell really ill she was literally on the bed on bed rest so now who lost go for me something had happened to you you said because you're trying trying to be there for your children please take care of yourself yourself first before any other person because if something happens to you the world moves on life goes on sharp sharp thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed yourself i also hope you learned a thing or two from my experience i remain the nk unfiltered girl that brings you real life situations and real life experiences using herself as a pet project remember to like this video remember to watch this video to the end remember to comment on my video remember to subscribe to my channel and also put on your post notifications thank you so much for watching my videos and i'll see you guys in my next video love you all bye